Hi friends, good day. This is Vlad and this is the daily review for uh, Wednesday, 5th of October. Well, uh, after two very nice days and uh, good setups, good uh, trades we discussed, let's take a look on the possible trades we have for today. First of all, yesterday Bernanke has had his speech and said that the Fed is ready to take all action needed just to push the economics up. Well, of course it does feel like, well, now the the markets will have the back wind, right? Just the push and to recover a little bit after the, the crash, but how long it's going to be? How deep the markets can correct before the next down move? That's on the time will be the only one to, to tell the, the truth. Let's take a look on the chart and understand what we have. First of all, we have the dollar franc. It's still struggling around the 0 092, but uh, the real uh, area is the 0 093 plus, 0 093 40, 0 093 50. That's the, the, the 40, 50, that's the area. As you can see, and uh, the, the daily divergence is clear here. If you back for our chart, we can see that even here we have this clear slope down right now it might rise higher from here it might ride ride it more but then it will be continuing divergence on both charts daily and four hours and these are the levels to look uh, to sell the dollar franc now how to sell of course we will look for any possible uh, patterns candle patterns MACD slope down here around these areas to begin to attack the down move. So this is the first pair to look for today and to begin to write the down move. Now several possible trades for the SRS. The first one is New Zealand and against the US dollar. We have this last high right after the down move we have the up move. The SRS 10,000 getting closer and closer to the 10,000 itself. It looks like it's going to break it. A break above the last high, above the 076.34 uh, with the break of the SRS 10,000 should lead us for an up move. Stop loss will has to be placed below the last low. The last low as for now is this one. This is the last small swing low that should be enough. 20 pips below it should do the work and of course the first target should be around this uh, stiff resistance area which is 077 so watch this pair it looks very interesting very good Australian dollar same story this is the high the, uh, we're getting closer and closer for 10,000 level the break of this area, this resistance, which is 0.9598, well, 0.96, let's call it, <laughs> let's call the Chinese name, right? And and the break, uh, the cross up of the moving average so will give us the buy. Stop loss, as same as for New Zealandian, just below this small swing low, and this will be the first target, this resistance, which is half of the uh, stop loss. The profit is having the stop loss. So uh, this is also very possible trade. Dollar Canadian is the next one. This is the low around the 105. Right? Moving cross of the moving average, cross of the 10,000 down and we will have the setup to sell. Of course the stop loss will be placed just right above this high. Right? Just right above this high. The first uh, target should be half of it, means around the 10430, something like that, uh, which is half of this the stop loss, hmm? half of the stop loss, uh, even even little less. Right? So uh, that's the the three uh, possible as beautiful SRS trades on the majors. There are several uh, crosses cross pairs also with uh, possibilities and just watch uh, the SRS. This is the three recommended from me. 
Uh, another interesting pair to follow is the Euro against the Australian. The same story from yesterday. We are still in the wedge, as you can see. Still diverging. A break below this wedge retesting should lead us down. And I would then look for targets uh, at 136.70. But we'll stay aware of the 137.20, which might, 20.30, which might... Uh, has some difficulties around this area. Now look for the break of the wedge and also of course the break of the RSI trend line, clear trend line below it and then you, it, it might be a very beautiful uh, setup to sell. Another interesting pair we discussed yesterday on the live room and just become available and the uh, pound New Zealand and we have had the close below the 203.40 and now it's retesting it break below the Bollinger Band together with the RSI 50 both down will lead the pair for lower lows means we are going probably to have the first target here around the 201.70 area 70.80 area the support and the deeper move can take us all the way to so stay tuned for this one. It will happen if the New Zealandian will gather stronger, gather strength. And that's actually all for today, friends. These are the trades we follow. These are the opportunities we have. On daily chart, we have the confirmations for Australian dollar with this uh, strong hammer after the daily marabuzu. And same story here with the dollar Canadian, inverted hammer. Uh, they both should during the next day they might play here but they both should make the move somewhere close to the 20 MA of the daily chart well that's all friends I wish you a beautiful day I'll see you again tomorrow enjoy the profit enjoy the trades yours Vladimir bye bye